First we cut here, then we cut here, then we cut over here. Ha. Okay, so we are done and but <laughs> it's not clean yet, we must clean it up first. Okay. Okay, next we try to straight this one up. Just spread this can and just fold this book and and then okay, okay like this and we will close the book and we leave it for 24 hours on weight more than 5 kg perhaps and we're done uh, there they are we just leave it for i guess we just leave it for a day so the can will not bend and it's us to do our job okay so okay we have arrived at the calculation part we will we have already do all of the physical stuff and right now we must calculate something so here's come the mat so what we need is an alpha okay. an alpha and we need a beta okay uh, an alpha and beta and of course what is alpha what is beta um okay this is us um yeah this is us this is you know seat belt and this is our nipples here and this is our neck and shoulder neck and shoulder so we want to do Tony Stark arc creator okay so alpha is this one okay alpha is this one which is this vertex of the diamond over here and this vertex of the diamond over here we um, fuse it up and that is alpha okay so beta is from here to here this is beta which means this is alpha and this is beta okay so let's go to the calculation okay so okay so after we understand that let's go to the real calculation um okay let's go to the real calculation okay put it over here alamak uh, no put it over here just, just. okay so first of course let us search for uh, let us sketch for the alpha okay this is alpha uh, let us put some guidance uh, for us to use ourselves okay uh, this is guidance call, okay. so after we get alpha we already know that the we must get beta okay from the alpha which is as much as this is beta beta equal as much as 75% from alpha okay after we got that we must measure beta from this line okay the center of us we measure up until here how much percent equal 24 percent 24.76 percent from beta okay uh wait up this is alpha equal alpha your size beta equal like this okay 75 percent from alpha which means this is 24.76 percent from from beta okay uh, after that you must measure another beta here as much as as much as 7.17 maybe 17.6 percent from beta okay after you get these two line of course we must get the final line final line and if, of course this is the balance of the other beta which is as much as 75.24% of beta okay so after that we go to this angle over here at the alpha line so we just measure it up from this angle as much as 12.5% of alpha okay after we already got that measurement we just mark it up and what we going to do we just 
do a straight line over here with 90 degree angle okay after we do a 90 degree angle we just do a, an angle over here as much as exactly 60 degree angle okay 60 degree, degree angle then you just fuse this up up to here and then after you res go to this angle you just do another 90 degree angle over here okay after you do that 90 degree angle you go straight here and calculate as much as 15.18% of alpha okay you do 15.18% of alpha then you do a straight line and then after that you will arrive at here right you must do a 130 degree okay see 130 degree uh, 130 degree you do and you must combine it to the line before you you made like right here okay see that and then the final one is this one which is exactly 60 degree same as up here 60 degree just straight it up and fuse at the below one and let's see here with this this is the left part of the upgrade of I man and what you want to do is just repeat the same step to finish this upgrade at the right part and final one you will, you will get an upgrade that almost same as shape as hard but like same from mark maybe not 50 and that's all for the calculation of this upgrade okay okay so we have done you know sketching something so this is our mark 51 art director and this is just the the base and i hope you understand the calculation and you can do on your own uh, according to your own size okay So the can is still then so we just cut <laughs> cut here nicely without that um, that thing oh no, that thing you know that dirty thing or not tidy thing cut cut uh, from this one and this one then we straight it up by a you know a wood or pencil or something that is straight I hope it is will it will work. It's working. You see, if I put it here and you can draw on it. <sighs> so we we have the you know aluminium can to design this reactor. So it is a real can and you guys can do it freely at home. Uh, not free. You must buy one and drink and of course start the project. Okay. So next stuff we need a blade. Oh, motorcycle already we need a really sharp blade and this blade is one of the sharpest so we will you know smash this thing up and take out the blade and we use that blade to do our project okay now that is ultra sharp and <coughs> we'll get it out so we will sell tape this guys and that is our knife or scalpel okay your your free scalpel is already here so we we'll use this to cut this one okay where okay. uh, cut that one we'll see when it is cut the reason we use blade is okay see this this is the company cut okay this is the company cut this is a scissor cut and this is a blade cut okay this is a blade cut so it will really nice so we just have to use blade and with patience right now you just measure up how many is the length of your lamp and put it over here and we want to paste the lamp or the light um, below the surface of this upright okay like this but which means we must make a little hole over here okay we'll this up and try to paste on the arc right here, okay so we already have done the 
minimum size of the lamp so we will try to hold this part and then translate this hole to that can okay so we already hold this one next we just put this one into the can draw this one to this one okay I already draw it by using a pen and we cut this one then paste on this one okay let's do it oh, finally we already done cutting this this piece so we just paste it on here okay paste it by using uh, hot glue gum okay three second gum okay how sharp the can can be that is my glove if i not wearing this glove that is my skin <laughs> Okay, now we leave it to be as thick as possible. I put all the hot glue gum on the each edges of this arc reactor so that it can withstand. <laughs> it will be more durable and more stronger. Okay, meanwhile, let us do the inner part of the arc reactor, which is they have a triangle design in it, and I leave to you as your creativity to do it because it is hard to explain and after I have done my design we'll see you again okay um, before that one simple tips for you all um, to do this triangle you see the ver these two vertex slightly up here okay up here then you do line then you take this part of the vertex you calculate 120 degree 120 degree from from here uh, no no 120 60 degree 120 degree from here right 60 degree from here to do this this one 60 degree from here 60 degree then you go straight do the same step on the right hand part okay then you get this triangle and well do it according to your creativity okay isn't that beautiful i already done my sketch and now we will cut this one up and we will paste to the transparent paper over here okay. after that we will see again so this is more than an hour and I guess I guess I don't know whether we can do it or not look at this this one to break it up but this is the transparent paper so this is our reference if it doesn't came out in a good condition we use this reference okay after we finish um, we must make this one clean so we will try to clean as clean as possible using a little bit of sandpaper okay right here right here in this area okay Okay, you see it now? Uh, it's it's clean over here, here, here. Okay. So it's take the whole day to we don't finish all of this stuff. So if you see this, it is a uh, see this rectangle part. This rectangle part must be bent. After this, I show you. Um, before that, let's clean up this all this pen sign by using a whiteboard marker so that it will be more clearer okay so we already bend the stuff that we want to bend you see it it, it is bent so after this we want to paste it into this you know transparent paper right now okay finally we dry we dry and the you know the uh, transparent paper, transparent paper, just let it dry. Okay, then you cut, you cut it up, and it will be like this. So I color, I color it so it became blue, and you will do another, another shape of it, so that the blue color will be double okay okay so we already have three pieces one piece this is two piece okay and this is three piece so the 
third piece is the base so right now we must do the you know some kind of belt we will use this so first do this line over here okay um, take the middle we will paste this belt into that base so if you see we already mark it this one will follow the mark okay this one will follow the mark so that we will allow the lamp at the middle part okay right here so let's sew it up okay so one thing you must prepare which is this thing or any sharp tools we going to do some line over here okay by using whiteboard whiteboard marker okay like this okay so we will make a hole i make a hole then i erase all of it okay so oh, we we've done do the hole you can uh, we can erase now okay erase it all erase it okay uh, right now you sew sew this one with this belt um, following the guideline that we already made which is this mark over here okay this mark over here and this mark over here okay good luck oh finally we have settled this part okay this part after we um after we sew this both of this part then we put hot glue gum okay we'll see you there so we have finished um sewing <laughs> it's almost midnight and we will apply this hot glue gum over here into those sewing and we put just this on the middle by using hot glue gum okay by using fast gum okay 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 it is done it is durable now we must do a small uh, diamond shape over here to paste this layer okay get the small measurement we will cut the small measurement to paste above this to paste the the second layer okay we'll see you there okay so we have cut this one so this one we will paste above this okay above this i guess it is great okay okay so we already pasted it on here so we will take all the trash of can to fuse with this layer of agro okay this is our you know trash of can yesterday um so we usually use this trash of can to stick to all edges of this agro reactor we'll see you then okay we will done uh, put this scrap material from the tin to the agro reactor you see this um the reason we're doing this is to allow maximum amount of reflection inside the agro reactor okay then we'll cover up with the transparent the second layer of the agro reactor then we'll see you there okay so before we paste this one we color it blue and if you see this layer right here it's blue right so we let the light pass the blue lane first as first layer then we let the light pass the second layer blue also and the third layer is the outermost layer this is because we must let the light to be spread it out as for the uh, reactor like fully so right now i am gonna paste this one and before that i will color with blue whiteboard marker pen and we'll see you there okay so we already paste it okay above the lamp this is the second layer so we must put the outermost layer do a little bit of wall um wall around the arc reactor then we paste the outermost layer of the arc reactor okay so we already built the outermost layer okay outermost layer before that eh, before that we put some of this you know trash of can 
we will paste as usual to all the edges or all the sides of this arc connector okay oh, okay right now we have settled the reflection of the arc connector from inside okay this is the last part yeah you see the reflector okay from the thing we have used um like this thing and paste it with using three second gum so the last part is paste this operator up the autonomous shell of the operator and that's okay like this paste it up and we're done okay so the next step is um this is an optional we do this you know we do this operator to be um waterproof which is using spray and this is an option after doing that i will show to you guys Okay, we leave it uh, for a few hours and then we'll see how it does. I mean, we put cell tape and we spray again. Double layer, okay? Um, just now I used chocolate spray, so this is a metal spray. We use this next um, to make it more like a metal, okay? Uh, okay. Okay, this not metal, okay? It's just to make it shiny. It's okay to make the architecture more shiny. So we just spray it for a couple of minutes. Now we will, you know, do some art to um, to open up those cell tape to cover it from heating the spray. Okay, we'll see you there. Um, the spray process already finished, and after it is dry, I will. Well, put on some clothes and wear it. We'll see what there. Okay, so we have finished this arc reactor, okay? This arc reactor. Does it function? Yeah, it's functioning. <laughs> so we have finished this arc reactor and I hope you enjoy this video. We'll wear it later and I guess it's it's okay. <laughs> to zoom it, wait up. Um, you saw it, right? Almost the same, but <laughs> it cannot be the same. Mark 51. And so, that's all for the video. I hope you enjoy this video and if you feel that this video is beneficial for all the viewers hit the like button below and share this video to all the people that you know to be creative so that they can build their own art character by using their own size <laughs> and sizes 
and I hope you enjoy doing it because uh, at this moment this is my first DIY videos that that takes long time which is three days on doing it so try your best to do it upon that my name is Muhammad Narafiq bin Razan right now in Kuala Pilihan and we'll see you in the next video peace out